Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fabulously Frugal and Fancy. I'm Brandy, and today I have an exciting video for you because this was very fun to make, and I had never made one before. I um, made a 4x4 truck out of diapers. They call it a diaper cake. Why? I don't know, because it doesn't look like a cake. It looks like an actual truck. I did find a video, which I will have reference below, to start me out, uh, to give me the idea of what I was doing. But I ended up changing methods because I needed mine a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more secure because the baby shower I was taking it to was two hours away. So I had to make sure mine was a little bit more stable and a little bit more secure. I used a little bit more cardboard for mine and made it more structurally sound. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to stop talking now and let's just uh, get into it. Let me know what you think at the end. I'm, I really like how this one turned out. So let's... Uh, make something fabulous. All right, so here I'm kind of showing you some of my supplies. <clears throat> I used the 84 pack of diapers. I used every single diaper in this pack. Um, I got this blanket on clearance. I used uh, an adult size blanket, but I cut it down, hemmed it, made like a, and then used the scraps to cover the rest. The rest of the supply list will be in the description box below. Um, some of these items here I did not end up using for the actual creation of the thing. I just ended up putting in the bed of the truck as a gift later on. Those tubes were one long tube that some leather material had come on. It was a little thicker and so um, I had it cut down to 18 inches each. Here I am rolling some diapers and at first I t stick them into the end of my tubes. I end up taking those out because I just cover the ends of the tubes with something else because I didn't care for the way that this looked here. And so that'll come in just a little bit. But first I'm going to start with making the axles and the tires. Now you want to um, skip sticking them in there because I end up using Dollar Tree washcloths to cover the end and put a little uh, Dollar Tree nipple over the end to cover it. At first I used these baby uh, washcloths to cover the middle of the axles but I ended up n not liking how that looked so I uh, take that off a little bit later and you'll see what I do instead. So after those are on, which is kind of pointless because I end up taking those off anyway, but I put those on and then I roll up seven diapers and I put a rubber band around it, each diaper individually to hold them in place. And then these are going to be our wheels for our truck. So I just roll them up tightly. And wrap a rubber band around them. Now here's where you could use two people. You need, I needed somebody else to help me make the wheels because my hands were not big enough to hold all seven in place with one hand and put the rubber band around the entire thing. So I ended up getting somebody to help me um, oh, put the rubber band around while I held them. So again, I just roll up seven diapers and I'm just kind of placing them where they go around, holding it there, and that's when I realize I'm not going to be able to hold these in place and put the rubber band around them, so I call for some help. I get somebody to help me put the rubber band around those. It was hard enough holding those seven diapers in place and getting all the diapers in there. Okay, here comes my other helper and she's just wrapping the rubber band around as I held it in place. That worked really well for me, just to have a second set of hands. Um, it was the best way that I could do it. I couldn't figure out a different way to do it. Later on, I realized that if I put the rubber band around and then inserted, inserted, sorry, one diaper at a time, as long as the rubber band was big enough, you could do it with one person, but it was a little bit easier to do it with two. So I do all four tires the same way. I use seven diapers, roll them up individually, 
and wrap a rubber band around them. And then I put them all around the tube and I do um, put one large rubber band all the way around those. Now the rubber bands are just a large pack of rubber bands I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, Alright, so I do all of those. And again, I start with these little washcloths around the the center of the axle and I rubber band those in place but I didn't like the look of that so I ended up taking that off and I had some black leather from Dollar Tree that black faux leather I had two boxes of that and I put the um, put that around the middle of the axle and around the wheels as a like a ribbon to make the wheels look more like tires so um, I think it turns out really cute in just a moment so here I am rolling more diapers and again just showing you you just roll them up they do not have to be like a perfectly tight roll they don't it, it's pretty easy so here I've got all four of the tires made I'm just kind of measuring to see how wide I need it and then I'm getting the black faux leather and I'm just laying that out measuring what I need there and then I have my little measuring tape it's a little off um, frame right there but I have my little measuring tape measuring across and then I make a cut and then I just fold the material up fold the faux leather up a little bit to cut the straight line cut it you know fold it over cut it fold it over a little bit more and cut it as you can see a little bit easier than what I'm saying I just fold that piece that's cut all the way down to make a straight line And then I had this piece and I needed it in half. I needed exactly half of that as I had measured. So then I just have my helper there hold the other end. I just cut it. Very simple and I do both the tires that way. I apologize if you can hear my dog howling. He is a little bit anxious because he's alone upstairs. I'm not sure why he gets anxious with that but I am downstairs. If you can hear him howling. Uh, I apologize for that, but that's that's life. You know, sometimes your dogs get upset. Sometimes there's noise in the background, and I apologize for it, but... Alright, so I cut these four strips, and I just wrap them around the tire, and then I use the painter's tape, the blue painter's tape, to secure the one end, and then I'm going to use electrician's tape, just from the Dollar Tree, uh, and I use the electrician's tape to um, kind of put it on the outside. Here's where I decide that I don't want the diapers in the middle and I put a, see I just take the diapers out and I take a washcloth and I put it over the end and use a rubber band to hold it in place and then I take those nipples that I got from Dollar Tree, the bottle nipples and I attempted to put it on my glue wasn't totally heated up yet so I was like okay gotta wait because it falls right off. And so then I just put the diapers up over and around and here's where I realized that I could have put the rubber band on and then put all the diapers in individually and probably done it without extra help but I had the extra help so it wasn't a problem and here's where I decided I don't like it in the middle it doesn't wrap all the way around I, I just didn't like thought it didn't look good so I cut those rubber bands off took those washcloths out and used the scrap pieces of the black faux leather and wrapped it around the axle the pieces that I had cut off that I wasn't using for the wheels this was the leftover piece and again the black electrician's tape it uh, you can't even see the tape once it's on there because it matches the, the faux leather really well and I just taped that around the part of the axle that is shown I really liked how that turned out how that looked it looked just really finished and I liked that look so So here I am just attaching that to the cardboard with the electrician's tape and then I take the nipple now that my glue gun is heated up and I put it on the end just as a little decoration on the end of the, the hub cap I guess is what that's called there. So um, here I'm getting out my painter's tape because on the diaper itself I didn't want to use electrician's tape I was afraid it was a little too sticky it would rip the diaper 
uh, itself. So I used painter's tape, attached my piece of faux leather around, and then just pulled it as tight as I needed it to be without squishing the diapers. Used a piece of that tape, cut it off, and attached that to itself. So the electrician's tape is not t touching the diapers. The painter's tape is, and that will not do any damage. I removed painter's tape and put it back on a couple of the diapers, and it didn't do any damage whatsoever there. So, And then I'm just kind of forming it, pushing everything where it needs to be. And then... Um, I finished all four of those off camera. I did the same thing on all of the wheels. And here I'm taking some poster board, some foam board from Dollar Tree, and I'm just cutting my size for the body of my truck. Now, I just kind of measured, I kind of guessed it, because I kind of had a framework in mind what was, like how wide it was going to be, but I, was just kind of guessing at first until I could figure out exactly which direction I wanted to take it in. So this is the set, the piece I cut. It's going to be up to you. Um, I cut my tubes at 18 inches, but if you use paper towel rolls, those are only like 12 inches. So I didn't give you these measurements because it's going to depend on the size of your axles and then you just measure. And so now here I'm rolling up a couple more diapers. I need four rolled up diapers in the front for my lights and four in the back for my lights. So I have the headlights and the um, like the yellow uh, lights in the front and so I am just making my lights and my grill for the front of the truck. And again I roll up four of them, wrap a rubber band around them, and then stacking up diapers in the middle. I believe I had nine there. And then I'm taking these socks. These had a... I was looking for something with yellow uh, for the front tail lights and red for the back tail lights, I found these little animal uh, socks at Dollar Tree. And so here I've got a little baby blanket that I got at Dollar Tree, and I am going to use that to make the grill of the truck, which I think turns out really cute. <clears throat> All right, I'm just taking my time to make sure I remove all those little plastic pieces because this is a baby blanket. They could use it. I want to make sure there's none of those things in there. And if you see people walking around in the background, I am doing this in the back uh, sunroom because this round table was larger than my workspace and I needed a little bit more space to spread everything out. This trim I got at Walmart. It was on the clearance rack. I got it several months ago. Didn't know what I was going to use it for, but I never pass up things in the clearance rack that are crafting items because I'm like, oh, you know, normally I don't use green things because green is not one of my favorite colors, but I could use this for something. So I take the whitest trim and I just, I wrap it twice vertically and then I go hor horizontally um, just to kind of give it that grill look. But again, you're going to see people walking around. I'm in the back sunroom and people walk through and talk to me and the dog comes in. It's not a big deal because I knew I was going to be doing a voiceover, so it wasn't a, a problem at all. So I'm taking one of those socks that has the yellow tip, the little red lines, but that was the best I could find with anything yellow. And I put one diaper in each sock. These are going to be the tail lights in the front and then the white rolled up diaper will be the headlight in the front and then I don't know why I'm switching back and forth between the, the lights and the grill but hey you know you roll with it when you're doing it sometimes you just get ideas and they just come to you and you're just like oh I want to do this but sometimes I want to do it right then so that it's because it's fresh in my mind and I don't want to like you know do something and then be like, oh, what was I going to do with these lights? So then I just wrap this uh, across the top. I cut it. I'm trying to like make sure they're evenly spaced. No, I do not measure. I'm just making this look like the grill work of the front of the truck. And then I'm just securing all of the ribbon. The ribbon is actually what's holding the blanket in place. So there's nothing holding the blanket in place except for the ribbon. I just wrapped the ribbon around it after I'd kind of wrapped the, the grill up, kind of like a package. And then I just 
use the tape on the trim and put it all together here. So that's at the back. You're not going to be able to see that because that's inside the truck. So here I am placing my lights around just to see how that's going to fit. And then I'm just kind of placing, you know, doing some measuring here to see if I need to trim the board, if I need to make it any shorter at all. And I end up deciding, no, I do not. That's the size I'm going to use. All right, so here I am stacking the diapers in different directions just to see, to fill in. Most of these diapers are not rolled or folded. There's very few that are rolled um, with this design, which is good because I hear that they're a little bit more difficult to use when they're rolled up. So everything inside is just stacks of diapers. And I do end up stacking them front to back, front to back, front to back, over top of each other in opposite directions just to make a more even stack because where the fold is in the diaper sometimes it's a little thicker so I ended up switching that but I don't show that on camera and I apologize for that and here's where I'm flipping them I do actually show that so I'm flipping them back the fold on one side the fold on the other side the fold on one side the fold on the other side in all of my stacks just to make them more um, more of an even thing now at first I just used this foam board on the bottom but I come back in later on and add more cardboard to the bottom and more cardboard to the sides here. I'm just rolling up for the backlights. But I end up adding more cardboard. I basically make like a little box around this diaper for the body of the truck. And then I do the same for the cab of the truck just to make it a little bit more secure. And then I had these socks that I found with the red toe. Now, if you found solid red socks, that would work too, but I thought these were cute with the little animal on them. I saved those little inserts because I'm going to end up using two of those, so don't throw those away. And then I'm making my brake lights in the back and my backup lights, the reverse lights. I do have a little gap. I do come back in and add some cardboard inside of it too. I used the thick like corrugated cardboard, just a couple of pieces just to make it more solid in the middle because I'm traveling with this. I'm making this and then the baby shower is two and a half hours away. So I wanted to make sure it was really solid, really secure. Now all three sections of the truck are not attached to each other. So the wheels and axles just sit on their own. The body of the truck sits on top of that and then the cab of the truck sits on top of that. So here's the full size blanket. It is an adult size blanket. I do cut it down, hem it so that it's a baby size blanket. And I only use the baby size blanket to cover the, the whole body of the truck. And then the excess, the leftover material, I use to cover the cab of the truck. So here, I, you only see me add in one piece of cardboard and I apologize for not showing more but I did go in later after it's done and add more cardboard inside the blanket uh, just to make it more solid but you get the general idea you're gonna want to play with it and make sure that it's solid and it fits your needs like I said I had to travel with this so I mine needed to be really secure this may be secure enough for you it's totally up to you in that regard and so here I am, I'm just kind of placing everything and where it goes. <clears throat> and at first I put the headlights and taillights and ends up upside down. So I do, in the end, you'll see that those are fixed. I'm just wrapping the blanket around. Um, Every time I would move the blanket, all the little things would fall out, but that's okay. I was just uh, trying to figure out the best way to wrap this. And then I ended up adding a little bit more stability just by taking a rubber band around each stack of diapers so that they, it was a lot more secure inside. It gave it a lot more stability, actually, just to add those. All right, so here I am. I'm using another piece of that trim, uh, uh, one of the different designs on there. And... Again, this trim was, I got this trim for a dollar on the clearance rack at Walmart. Do not discount um, what you see, what you find in the clearance racks, even if it's not something you're going to use right away or you're not even sure how you're going to use it. So here I am just 
trying to figure out adjusting. I was going to tie it and I'm like, no, I don't want to tie it. So then I end up taping it. And what I did was just kind of tuck and fold as I went. I used this trim, this ribbon trim to secure it all the way around. And then I just kind of readjust and make sure all of the edges of the blanket are folded under that it's clean lines and straight and everything. And again, this ends up being the bottom so you don't see the tape on this at all. And the masking tape does no damage to the blanket. The blanket can be washed and used. It's perfectly fine. Um, so it's not a problem, but I do end up going in and adding, you know, under the blanket that you can't see it all, more cardboard on the sides and the top of this just to make it more stable because I needed it secure. I did not want this falling apart. I wanted it to last and I wanted it to get to the party and the party was outdoors and I wanted everything just to be perfect. I'd never made one of these before. I'd never made anything out of diapers before. So it was a new thing for me and you can kind of see as I'm moving around just how flimsy it actually is there. But you'll see in the end, I don't show me adding the other cardboard, but I basically made a box around the body of the truck and a box around the cab of the truck just to make it more secure and more stable. I'm just readjusting, you know, tucking and readjusting and thinking through because again, this is the first time I've done anything like this. So I'm just kind of trying to think through. I know I realized then that I need to add this one, I need to move it up to the end to hold everything securely in place. And as you can see, as soon as I picked it up, the whole back end of it was flimsy there. So, and here I am making the cab of the truck. I take all the diapers I've left over. And at first I'm just playing with the blanket, trying to figure out how to get it, what the best way was. And that's when I end up just going for cardboard. I show me measuring that in just a moment. This is the excess of the blanket that I cut and made a smaller blanket. So, I end up cutting it because there's just too much bulk here for me and I wasn't happy with the bulk so this is the, the excess material you could use a different blanket altogether and just use two baby blankets um, but I found this big blanket on clearance and it ended up only being three dollars I couldn't even find one baby blanket for that cheap so I was like yeah no that's not gonna work I don't want to spend that much money because again, it's about being frugal. I mean, I want, I don't mind spending money on certain things, but sometimes I'm like, wow, $20 just for the blankets. And then you're buying the diapers and everything else. It just gets really expensive. So I went to family dollar, their blankets were on clearance and I got this pretty blue one because it's a boy and they love blue. So this is how I started with it and I wasn't happy with the way this looked at all. And so you see me in just a moment, I completely take that apart and I'm just not real happy with the way it looked right there. It just didn't really have enough definition for me. I wanted it a little bit more, I don't know, just prettier. So I come back. This is after I added the cardboard to the sides. You can see it's a little bit more firm. I put it on the wheels and again, each piece is separate. I take my stack and I flip it to where to make it more even again with the folds on opposite ends every time. And I believe I had 12 there had this bib. You want one bib that has a character that will look like it's driving the car. And I had, this was the only one I could find. I had gone to like six different stores and finally found this one. <laughs> it was in a pack of two. The other one they get in their little gift. So, um, then Elmo ends up driving the truck. So here he is. I'm just kind of measuring on the sides cause I know I'm going to frame this out with a box. I basically just make a box out of this cardboard. Um, it's not real thick cardboard, but it is sturdy. It was in an Ikea package and it's just flat white cardboard work perfectly. And I just, um, cut out the pieces I need basically to frame it out. I put one on the back, one on the top, one on the bottom and one on each side and that worked perfectly. I taped it together, covered it with the excess of the blanket and that was it. That's all I did for the, the cab of the truck here, except I do go in. Now these little socks have the silver on the ends. These are going to be my, um, my side mirrors on the truck and the inserts from the other socks. I cut it down a little bit 
actually I didn't cut it down I just made a line where I wanted to fold it and I kind of shoved that in so that the silver toe is on the end and then I fold that piece of cardboard inside again that was just a sock insert from one of the other socks and I just push it until those are up and then these are going to be my side mirrors on the on the cab of the truck so I think they turned out really cute just the small details sometimes those little small details really make a difference alright so here's the cab of the truck and I did use some of that same trim to trim out the side of it to hold it all together and then I have this basket from Dollar Tree and I picked gray because it went with the colors of the truck and I had some clothes I had some other gifts the rest of the blankets that I didn't end up using to make the truck I put in there um, there's some baby formula and then the rest is just clothes uh, just the baby's due in July so I got lots of little tank tops and I got like summer outfits um, this is for my great nephew so um, he's due in July and I couldn't resist buying some clothes they were just so cute I had already bought the gift so this wasn't even part of the gift it wasn't you know but I couldn't resist buying some of these cute little boy clothes and I just you know kind of roll them up fold them up put them all into the basket there's really no rhyme or reason I'm just kind of trying to put the outfits actually together and putting them down in the basket so that this is going to be the bed of the truck the truck bed and I had several more little bibs that I didn't use to make the thing so I just wrap those around the sides and I hang one over the back I just kind of winged it with some of this I had never made anything out of diapers before so I'm really interested to know what you think I thought those little swim trunks and that little swim hat were just adorable I have these little rubber duckies because I saw them and I was like yeah they're cute so I picked those up and I put those in there and then that is basically it here's the final product as you can see I have my little hubcaps and my little designs there the bed of the truck the cab of the truck this is the grill with the lights Elmo driving with the little mirrors sorry it's a little wobbly I'm walking around I do have a better video coming up here where I changed my method up just a little bit so I could get a better video of this but I just kind of want to show you all the details in this because it does show a lot of the details here's them from the front Elmo driving the truck from the back I think it turned out adorable and you could do this in any color scheme that you wanted I just really liked the the way it turned out alright so here is another final look at the truck going around in a circle somebody's doing donuts on the table here so <laughs> all right I hope that you enjoyed this I hope that you let me know down below what you think of this uh, to me it is adorable and they loved it I did end up putting license plates with the baby's last name but I did not put that in the video because for privacy purposes so what did you think of the 4x4 truck and how it turned out I will say that in the end um, in the end video, it's not included, uh, but I did make little license plates for the front and the back. Had the baby's uh, last name on it, but I did not add that in the video just for privacy's sake. I just cut out little um, rectangles of cardboard, wrote the name on it, made it look like a little license plate, put it on the front and on the back of the truck so that it had its license plate. And I did not include that in the video, but I love how this turned out. I thought it turned out very cute. Uh, beyond what I thought I could do and that's the thing sometimes you just need to challenge yourself a little bit and take a step outside of your comfort zone make something that you've never made before and just have fun with it and see what you can come up with so I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did um, if you are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel I would like to get to you know a thousand subscribers I'm slowly moving towards that and I would like to uh, have you join our creative family here so if you have not subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell please like this video leave me a comment below let me know what you thought of this 4x4 truck and I hope you have a blessed day bye